I'm Alexander, a world traveler and YouTuber from the United States. If you're new to the channel, I've just arrived in Clearwater, Florida to visit my friend Natalia. In today's video, we decided to travel two hours north where we'll be going cave diving for our very first time. We have woken up at 6.30, very early, it's now probably 7 almost, and uh, we're heading out on an adventure! Yay. Where are we going? Devil's Den. It has been nearly six or seven months probably now since we have last gone diving. Together. Together. Why? What do you mean? You dove without me? Mm -hmm. oh, shit. We did the shark dive. Oh yeah, you did the yeah. shark dive. Okay, so it's been a long time since we both dove together. Or at least me. So, last time I dove was in Bali when uh, I got to swim with manta rays and uh, down around Nusa Penida, which was an amazing time. But today's gonna be a little different. We're going cave, is that a cave? Yeah, sort of. So it's basically like a cave dive. Um, it's, we're gonna be diving approximately 60 feet or so. And I have a brand new GoPro to test out and hopefully the footage is gonna turn out very well. So we're gonna be driving two hours north to the dive site. Let's play a game. How much is it gonna cost? 20? 18. Higher love. Oh, I was right. Winner, winner. Alright guys, so we have just arrived at Devil's Den. We have checked in, we have picked up our scuba gear, and I'm about to leave my camera here and switch straight to the GoPro because obviously I can't bring this camera down in the water with me so there's no point. So I'm gonna leave this in the car and switch straight to the GoPro and from there we're gonna go ahead and put on our gear and head in the water. So let's switch it up. geared up ready to go just waiting for our briefing. briefing yeah we're waiting for our briefing then we're gonna go ahead and put on our tanks and then get in the water first of all welcome to Devil's Den you're gonna go walk down a concrete staircase you'll come to an aluminum staircase which comes to the platform all right that's the platform that you see in this picture we do have cave openings they're found here at three nine and six all right six o'clock is the only cave that does not have a barrier of some sort it literally dwindles down to where only water and fish are passing. All right. Three and nine o'clock have graded areas. All right. Kind of like a barrier system. There's swim throughs. That's where you'll find the deepest depth, which is about 52 feet. It fluctuates with the water table. So if you want to go through the swim through, you'll have to go under the rocks. All right. Cool. Please <laughs> do not split up down there. Yeah. We ask you to stay together. So yeah. if one person goes through the under the rocks, both of you have to go. Got it. All right. All right, you guys are going to be actually going past this rock ledge. It doesn't look like it, but you will be. Okay. You'll go down at a 45 degree angle. No okay. direct descent. You'll have to come back at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Anything beyond the staircase, anything beyond the little rock ledge, you guys are going to need flashlights. Any questions? Sounds good. That's it. All right, you guys are good. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Yep. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's got more intense than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> this is going to be, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think so too. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I'm so excited. My first kind of cave dive, I guess. This is gonna be great. Super excited. All right, so we're gonna get our gear on and head down and we'll take you along with us. Oh, it's hot. I'm so hot. It's like 90 degrees oh. outside and we have these wet seats on. I'm suffocating. I'm pretty sure my um. Your bungee's still on? Yeah. Got it? Alright, am I all secured? 
Oh my god. Oh. I forgot how heavy these things are. Jeez. On top of that, it's scorching hot in the sun right now. And uh, we have to carry about 50 pounds on us. All right, ready? <laughs> Going into the den. We are finally back. We just unloaded all of our equipment, took it off. Um, just need to rinse off now really quick. But first impressions, that was absolutely amazing. Um, that was my first cave dive. It was scary as hell at first. But once you get down there, you got your flashlight on, you go through the first few tunnels, um, get the butterflies out. After that, it was just absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse off all of our equipment here, and then uh, we'll explain the entire dive right after that. So we have finally gotten dressed. We are heading to the car, and Natalia's already in the car packing it up. But I wanna give my a few thoughts before we left here. So this is a fairly large cave um, for its size. So you are diving in a controlled manner, meaning that um, they have actually gated off certain areas of, of the cave so that you don't get lost and it's far less dangerous, obviously. In that sense, I was very happy because this was my first cave that I've ever dived in. This is my eighth uh, underwater dive and it was, it was very spooky going down um, because the f when we first dove in, the first cave entrance we went into, we were going through between rocks and you could not see anything, and I mean absolutely anything. You had to use your flashlight in order to uh, see anything in front of you. And because it is so tight getting between the rocks, 
um, and you're going deeper and deeper, you kind it kind of freaked me out for a minute. Um, but uh, after we went through the first few tunnels, I got more comfortable with it. And then uh, we basically just swam around between the rocks. There's a few fish down there, not very many, um, but they are curious though. <laughs> we had a few tiny fish just literally swim right up to us and they're just curious of what we're doing down there. So it's an amazing experience, absolutely recommend it. The water is so blue, it's, it's gorgeous down there. Um, and we just spent basically an hour down there just taking pictures, taking videos. Honestly, you could have just explored the entire cave system within maybe 30 minutes. We had, we had a lot of oxygen left over. Um, I mean, we, we swam around the entire cave probably two times um, by the end of the entire session. So I'm um, very happy that I did this. If you guys come down to Florida, absolutely recommend this place, guys. Devil's Den is what it's called right back here. It, you will have a great time. It costs us, I believe, $80 per person with rental equipment included. So it was, it's pretty affordable, actually, compared to diving in Indonesia, where I think the cost of that was far over $100 um, per dive. And uh, had an absolute blast. Ooh, nice and cold in here. What are your thoughts of the cave? It's amazing. 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 That's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you heard it there. I'm hungry. All right, we're hungry, and we're gonna go find some food. We were recommended this place by a staff member at the site. It's called Barbecue. Hello. Ooh, so bright. Very country in here. Barbecue. Bubba. Barbecue. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I'm not country enough to be here, I don't think. <laughs> The appetizer is called Bubba Tizers. Bubba Tizer. Love that <laughs> Guess what the sandwiches are called? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> Pick your poison. Pick it. Oh my god. One of the one of them is called Old Yeller. You know what happened to Old Yeller? He died. Yeah, saying a country accent. He died. He died. Uh, I remember reading Old Yeller in uh, high school. Did not have a very great ending. <laughs> For those of you that have read the book. <laughs> yeah, I actually read books. The original is called Tractor Grease. I love it. So stupid. I'm gonna have the big old bubba. Okay. The plate. Two sides. Pinto beans and coleslaw. I'm gonna have the uh, the sandwich, the uh, pulled pork sandwich. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Appreciate it. Oh, you were <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. Look at this. Got my mac and cheese. Got my pulled pork sandwich. Wow. Big old bubba. Big old bubba. And my french fries. What'd you get? Same. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Nice. This looks delicious. A few moments later. Yeah. Whoever recommended this place at the Devil's Den? Not doing okay. Good spot. Mm -hmm. Yes, awesome. Really good spot. Very good barbecue. So, so mac and cheese, but good barbecue. I am the driver today. Oh, final bill, 17 bucks each. Let's go. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. That was delicious. Oh, so delicious. Thank you. Oh, look at the decorations. I got a bear on the wall. <laughs> You're so dumb. They got a bear on the wall. They do. Oh, it's raining. Oh, great barbecue. We have arrived at our hotel um, for the next two days. So we're, it's now Saturday and I have to fly out on Monday. So for the next two days, we've decided to stay at a hotel in downtown just because it's gonna be a lot easier to get around for where we're gonna be at um, or based off what we have planned for the next two days. So it's just easier to stay at a hotel sometimes. 
so fancy. Super nice though. So let's give you guys a quick look as to what the uh, hotel room actually looks like here in Orlando. Right over here we have some hanging space for our clothes even though we're only staying here for two days with a safe down here. Next to it we have our shower with our mirror, sink, toilet, everything you really need and this nice sliding door that closes off. So due to COVID, they're taking out the coffee maker and high touch sensitive areas um, or uh, appliances. We've got a large full length mirror, two queen beds, and we have tested them out. They are very comfortable, big thumbs up. And then over here we have uh, a workstation. Um, they've taken out all the drinks out of the mini bar because again, coronavirus. Then we have a large flat screen TV, which you can pivot back and forth. Really nice. And uh, we've got this awesome sofa overlooking a parking garage. <laughs> I mean, it could be better, but not a bad view. So this is where we're staying for the next two days in Orlando. Not too bad, honestly. Um, the place cost us $100 a night, so split between the two of us, $50 a night, essentially. That's all we really need, but yeah, gonna unload all my footage onto my computer, but we're gonna go ahead and relax here for a little bit, and then we're gonna go to Korean barbecue to finish off our night. I have not had Korean barbecue since Vietnam, so this is gonna be a great throwback. <laughs> we have woken up super early today because we are going diving. <laughs> Why is it so loud? <laughs> Can I just say we're going north? Let's get your information correct. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just feel gas all over my foot. <laughs> Don't come back in here. <laughs> what a tragedy. Don't put that in. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely putting that in. And we got these nifty little flashlights, which I don't know how to use. Because I wasn't paying attention. How do I use them? Take it off! Woo! Not today. I remember you reading. Ugh. I remember. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> wow. I don't like this car. It's such a Taurus. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment down below, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next week.